Welcome to this video series about improvising by Sietse de Vries. You can support this video series by donating the amount of your choice to Sietse de Vries' Patreon account, which can be found by searching Sietse de Vries Patreon or by finding the link in the description below the video. Enjoy the video. Partita number five. And as you know, we're working on a Pachelbel partita, looking how it is constructed. And this fifth partita is very interesting. Uh, actually, for multiple reasons. One reason is already you can see it clearly when you look at the score that we have the same variation twice. Once it's for manuals only, and then it says partita five. Für Orgel, so specifically written for organ because the pedal is used. And this is actually a very important partita because some difficult things happen here. And uh, you have to imagine this is not something you can do in only a few days. You have to work on this for a long time and you have to keep working on it to make it happen because now we're talking real counterpoint. And counterpoint actually means that every voice is totally independent and has something interesting to say. And what makes this variation so interesting is that the melody is the middle voice and there is a free voice on top of it and there is a free voice below it. So we have three voices and they all do interesting things, but the difficulty is actually that the metal melody is in the middle. Well, let's first listen to the hymn tune again and what Pachelbel does with this variation and then we'll talk in detail how he has constructed this. So obviously there is a very strong rhythmical aspect to this variation. It's always the mm, ta ta tam 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 ta ta tam tam tam, which is always interesting. Whatever variation you make, if you have a returning rhythm, it's very nice to listen to and very recognizable. But as I said, the melody is in the middle, and that makes life quite hard actually, because if you imagine making a three-part harmony with the melody on top. Then you focus on the melody and on the bass note, and the middle voice is actually kind of a filler. So if you do, let me demonstrate the first line, you would probably do something like this. So I have a given, the melody. I choose a nice bass note, and then actually from that you derive at the middle voice. So that's normally quite easy to find. But now we have a problem, the middle voice is the melody, so you can't go anywhere, you're stuck with the melody. So that means step one of being able to make a variation like this is three-part harmony with the melody in the middle. So don't go for any interesting rhythms for now, just try to make a good harmonization. And let's use our Psalm 134 again. So uh, the harmonization could sound something like this. So the melody is now in my middle voice.
So what helps is you think of the melody and of the bass note, and then the soprano is kind of again the filler that you use. Uh, and first you just try note against note, as simple as possible, and then as a next step you could try to make, for example, the soprano a little bit more interesting. So whenever you find a way of making a melody out of it by using passing notes and things like that, you try to do that. So then you end up with something like this. And the challenge here is to make good voicing and to try to avoid parallels. Uh, I actually had a few parallels, so it's harder than you think. Uh, but try to make it as beautiful as possible. And of course, the next step could be to do something more with the left hand. And then you leave the right hand kind of simple, something like this. And actually I find this quite hard because I want to do something with my right hand as well. And what makes it actually really beautiful if you have alternating counterpoints. So you have a little motive in the right hand and then you answer it in the left hand and vice versa. So that you end up with something like this. You really have to keep in consideration that this is very hard to do. This is actually real counterpoint. You have to think of a lot of things at the same time. You have to know the melody, the key you're in, the chords you're using, and you have to keep track of every voice and making nice melodies out of it. Well, and the last step could be that you use a rhythm like Pachelbel does, so that you have something like this. And as you noticed, I struggle with it, so this was actually not a very good example. So let's see if I can make something better that really alternates the rhythm in both hands.
And like I said in the beginning, Pachelbel uh, has this partita twice, so next time we'll see how you can do it with the melody in the pedal, which gives you an even better sound because you can use different stops. But of course, in a way, it's harder as well because you have two manuals and your feet to take care of and to make sure that you have a nice partita.